If you like Humphrey Bogart, you should definitely watch our picks for his best movies. I'll tell you why. Because you're yellow. You haven't got nerve enough to pull the trigger while I'm looking you straight in the eye. Number 10. You know, when you just walked in here, I was sure you'd been sent by the family to deal with me. To deal with you? Sabrina is a romantic comedy drama film directed by Billy Wilder. In this romantic fight against the dullness of business life, we see a young beauty fall for a wealthy playboy. As they both figure out that they have found true love, their romance is threatened by Sirius' older brother Linus, who wants the young man to find a woman that can help their business succeed. What are you trying to say? Well, I'm just trying to make it worthwhile. What's a kroner these days? No self-respecting prime minister would offer kroner. No self-respecting waitress would take dollars. Good girl. Number 9. Key Largo, directed by John Huston. In this explosive ride, the audience are at the mercy of perfect craft and deadly tension. Portraying a classic noir story, we follow a traumatized war vet, Frank McCloud. Intending to comfort the loved ones left behind by a friend who died in the war, he becomes tangled in their troubles when an infamous crime boss takes over their business. Now it's one man against an army. Hey, you. Take a look over the stern, see if we picked up any kill. Number eight. You're good. You're awful good. I'd walk home if it wasn't for all that water. To Have and Have Not is a romance war adventure film directed by Howard Hawks. Benefiting from uncontrolled chemistry in front and behind the camera, To Have and Have Not showcases the story of a thick-headed man changing his mind. Determined to avoid getting involved in politics and refusing to smuggle resistance fighters on his fishing boat, Harry will soon find himself on the side of the resistance whether he likes it or not. What'd you do that for? whether I'd like it. What's the decision? I don't know yet. Number seven. That sucker jumped three feet in the air and come down stiff as a board. Me? I'll still be in a saloon business. The Roaring Twenties is a crime thriller film directed by Raoul Walsh. Building up conflict in a classic manner, The Roaring Twenties follows three men attempting to make a living in prohibitionist America after returning home from fighting together in World War I. But their ambitions for the future differ. Two partners in crime, one a lawyer, the old pals will fight over greed, friendship, and love. Prohibition law goes in next year. Yeah, but it's one thing to pass a law and another thing to make it work. There'll always be guys wanting a drink. We'll enforce that law. Uh, they haven't got a chance. How about you, Eddie? Number six. Rocky will be up the El Toro in the morning. About 11 o'clock. That'll give him time to get to the bank. 11 o'clock, that'll give you time to get to the bank. Angels with Dirty Faces is a gangster film directed by Michael Curtis. Telling a surprisingly dark tale for its time, Angels with Dirty Faces explores the friendship between two men, both raised in New York's toughest neighborhood. One makes a career in crime, the other serves the church and works with at-risk children, but the two face conflict together when the criminal Rocky sees a safe haven before his next criminal gig. I want you to take $100,000 out of my personal account and give it to him. What's up? Is he holding you? Tell him yes. Yes. You've got to do it, Mac. You understand? You've got to do it. Okay, I'll give it to him. Number five. Well, you should never take it off your finger. Put it on. Not now. In a Lonely Place is a film noir directed by Nicholas Ray. Convincing fans of noir with its depth and maturity, In a Lonely Place sees an innocent screenwriter find love with beautiful Laurel. Suddenly suspected to have murdered a woman he once met, Laurel wants to prove her lover's innocence. But as he acts increasingly mysterious, she begins to wonder if he might be the killer after all. These guys in hopped up cars, they think they own the road. You weren't really angry with him. You've been wanting to slug somebody ever since you left the beach. What happened to the beach had nothing to do with it. This guy asked for it. Number four. So you're a private detective. I didn't know they existed except in books, or else they were greasy little men snooping around hotel corridors. The Big Sleep is a film noir directed by Howard Hawks. This film noir delivers a grim vitality that remains undimmed till today. We follow ruthless private investigator Philip, who is ordered to help resolve the gambling debts of one general's wild young daughters. But soon the case becomes more complex as innocent people become victims of murder. 
Could it be the casino mobster, the mysterious femme fatale, or a conspiracy larger than the known? Do you always think you can handle people like uh, train seals? Uh huh. I usually get away with it, too. How nice for you. Just what is it you're afraid of? Number three The Maltese Falcon, written and directed by John Huston. Serving as a showcase for the brilliance of its leading cast and easily one of the most influential noir stories, The Maltese Falcon introduces cynical detective Sam Spade, who, with the appearance of a new case featuring a mysterious woman, falls into a spiral of crime and secrets. The only answer to all the mysteries might be the legendary bejeweled Maltese Falcon. How's he do for a living? I have the faintest idea. What time's he coming to see you? After 8 o'clock. All right, Miss Wonderly. We'll have a man there. I'll look after it myself. Number two. Shut your trap! Shut up, Ross! Smash your head flat! Go ahead! Go ahead! Throw it if you did, you'd never leave this wilderness alive! The Treasure of the Sierra Madre is a Western film written and directed by John Huston. This dark and cynical tale of moral conviction sees three strangers unite for one goal. Gold. Hoping to find it in the wilderness of Mexico, greed and fear of betrayal can and does spread conflict at any moment, and the ruthless Mexican bandits lurking in the wilderness don't make things any better. Can't you see that the old man's nuts? Ha! Nuts! Nuts, am I? Ha! Let me tell you something, my two fine bedfellows. You're so dumb, there's nothing to compare you with. You're dumber than the dumbest jackass. Look at each other, will you? Do you ever see anything like yourself for being dumb specimens? <laughs> Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. I'm five miles. Great if I can't make it now. Oh. Got to keep climbing. I see you! I want that knocked off. Stop putting on that gear. Mr. Keith. Sir? Put that man down there without a life jacket on report. Which one, sir? That one down there on number one machine gun. <laughs> Ah, no, no. Ain't no use, Rosie. I was forgetting the prop. The blade's gone. Can't we go on the blades that are left? No, the prop would be out of balance. The shaft would be all twisted up like a corkscrew again. Number one. You are our last hope. If you don't help us, Victor Laszlo will die in Casablanca. What of it? I'm going to die in Casablanca. It's a good spot for it. Casablanca is a romantic drama film directed by Michael Curtis. Popularly described as Hollywood's quintessential statement about love and romance, and without doubt one of its most important influences, Casablanca is a nostalgic yet lonesome memory of lost love. When a nightclub owner finds his old flame is in Casablanca during World War II, he sets off to help her escape the country, while her husband is framed as a dangerous rebel. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.